Crane Beach in Ipswich, Massachusetts. One of the cool things about Crane Beach is they allow horses to ride in the winter, spring, and fall. Now, they have to ride down by the intertidal zone because if a horse poops, it allows the waves to come up and grab that manure and take it out to sea really quickly, which keeps the beach pristine. Now, you might worry about the sea animals that live on the intertidal zone, but most of the sea animals burrow under the sand to hide, so they don't have to worry about the horse's hooves hitting them. Let's take a moment and see what kind of sea animals we might be able to find. Come on. Now, if you're walking in the intertidal zone and you happen to see a formation in the sand that looks a lot like this, dig and you may just dig up a sand dollar. Sand dollars love to burrow under the sand. They're trying to stay cool, they're hiding from predators, and they're trying to stay put so a big wave doesn't take them either out to sea or wash them up on shore. Now, I'm rinsing them off so that you can see the beautiful, almost sea star-like design that's on the top of the shell and he's covered with fuzzy little spines and what he does with those spines is he crawls along in the sand using those spines and he also uses those spines to ferry food to his mouth which is right there in the center of his body and you can really get a good look at those spines too. Now sand dollars are echinoderms and their closest relatives are sea stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. They're invertebrates, which means they don't have a backbone, so they have to have a hard exterior shell, which they do. And they can be one to three inches wide, and uh, they look a lot like a coin, and that's how they got their name, sand dollar. Now about 45 minutes have passed since I put the sand dollar back into the sand and this is how far he's burrowed under. Here's a live sand dollar on the left. You can see his spines wiggling around and the shell of a sand dollar and you can see the beautiful design that's on the top. And as you turn them over you can see clearly where the mouth is on the shell of the sand dollar. Sand dollars live to be about 6 to 10 years old. Every so often you'll come across a formation in the sand that really looks like it should be a sand dollar, but could be something totally different. Oh, it's a little crab. <laughs> How cute. Well, that's it from beautiful Ipswich, Massachusetts. Until next time, I'll catch you later at the beach.